Today Ham Radio enthusiasts gathered at the Ardmore Convention Center for the 75th annual Hammerama Ham Fest. News 12's Drew Yvonne tells us how you can get involved. Amateur radio operators like Mark Klein says it's more than just a hobby. These skills can come to the rescue. In this part of the country, we do a lot of work on uh, tornadoes, power outages, ice storms, those kind of things. So whenever we lose your internet, whenever we lose your cell phone, our equipment still works and we're able to communicate. Amateur radio operator Kevin Grantham says that radio technology has had many different uses over time, from bouncing signals off submarines and airplanes to communicating on the battlefield. Many of its advances, which still can be seen and heard today. The technology that you're using to reach viewers right now were invented by amateur radio operators in the 1920s and 1930s. Grantham says even astronauts are using radio technology. Uh, every am, uh, U.S. astronaut on the space station is an amateur radio licensee. We have amateur radio equipment on the International Space Station. We can use that as a repeater, uh, and they will transmit pictures and things from space. Grantham says it's easier now than ever to get involved. All you need to do is get FCC certified through three different class levels. It's a hobby, and we're the only one that allows you to build your own radio. So if you're interested in electronics, Anything else you want to do on radio, you have to buy something that's been designed and built and certified by some company. But you can buy a bag of parts here and put together your own radio. In Ardmore, Jury Vaughn, News 12.